Today in the news, RDNA 3 gets a new chip, it smells like 3D Vcash is back faster than ever, and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. But first, let me thank Jawa for sponsoring today's news. Jawa is a marketplace where you can list or buy computer parts like motherboards, CPUs, and GPUs. They offer the lowest fees when compared to other places like eBay or Amazon. It's 3% for payment processing, 3.5% for platform fees, and it's capped at $50. So if you're selling, you can save hundreds in cash. You can also request whole desktop PCs from their verified sellers. You can take a look at this one, for example. They also sell notebooks and consoles, so visit jawa.gg now. The link is in the description down below. Let's get started with AMD. During their last two events, that's CES back in January and Computex, which happened last month, the company really focused on teasing their next generation CPUs. The AM5 platform was explained, we got a first look at a Ryzen 7000 chip, and then we learned all about their insane clock speeds and other things during Computex. But that's the CPU. Unfortunately, the company has been pretty silent when it comes to their graphics. In fact, the only mention that we got was that it has a projected performance uplift of 50% at the same power as RDNA 2. So essentially the same goal that was there for RDNA 1 to RDNA 2, but now for RDNA 2 to RDNA 3. I mean, sure, we now have confirmation that it's a chiplet-based GPU, but we got no other confirmations besides that. Thankfully, we got some reputable Twitter leakers who uh, keep us updated on what's going on backstage. In the last year or so, the next generation of RDNA 2 GPUs have been split into three chips. Navi 31 for the uh, highest end like the 7900 XT, Navi 32 for high-end models like the 7700 XT, and Navi 33 which would be the 7600 XT. As far as the information available right now, the higher-end models, so Navi 31 and 32 GPUs, have a single chiplet called the graphics compute die. That's like the main graphics chip, and they would also have other chiplets for things like the Infinity Cache and the I.O. Navi 33 would be similar to current GPUs, just a single monolithic die. And that was it. Three models, Navi 33 would apparently come uh, in 2022, towards the end of this year, followed by Navi 31 early next year, and Navi 32 after that. Well, new information just popped up from leaker extraordinaire Greymon55, who points towards an even bigger and badder GPU. Now, according to him, it's still a gaming GPU, so it's definitely RDNA 3 slash Navi 3X and not like a CDNA GPU. But at the same time, he says it's not Navi 31, 32, or 33. That smells like a Titan class GPU to me. The specs shared are a little bit low when compared to other next gen Navi products with a single chiplet, but Greymon says that he is also unsure of what the actual specs are. I guess AMD is uh, waiting for Nvidia to make its move first and then they'll have a couple of months to price their high end GPUs accordingly and or decide what to release. Next up, let's talk AMD CPUs. The Zen 3 architecture made its debut back in, what, 2020, I think, on the desktop market. We got the Ryzen 5950X, 5900X, 5800X, and 5600X all at once. Fast forward about six months to Computex 2021, and AMD decides to tease us with their new technology, 3D vCache. Initially, they tested it on the 5900X, and it freaking gave this chip close to 200 megabytes of cache and also a healthy boost of about 15% in gaming performance. In the end though, about a whole year later, AMD settled on adding this technology to the 5800X to get uh, what we now know as the 5800X 3D. Still, it's a gaming monster at specific resolutions, but it's not the 5900X 3D that I would have hoped to have. So it took a whole year and a half to see this thing come together. Will we have to wait as long as that for the next generation? Nope. Apparently, we're going to see that happen this year. This was kind of missed during the financial analyst day from AMD, but it's pretty clear. Take a listen. At CES, we launched Ryzen 5000 series with 3D vCache technology. Today, Ryzen 5800X3D is the best gaming processor in market, bar none. We are proud of what vCache technology is doing for us, and we're gonna feature this in Ryzen 7000 series later this year and in the future generation. 
So essentially, we'll barely have to wait. The Zen 4 architecture is slated to release in fall of this year. Some say mid-September, but the official word is just fall. And since Saeed Mushkalani said that Ryzen 7000 with 3D Vcache would be featured later this year, we can either look at it as AMD teasing the product this year or launching it outright. I mean, the added cache on the 5800X3D clearly has a huge impact on a lot of games. And I could see it being added as a quick and easy performance upgrade for six to eight core CPUs in the future generations. I just hope that more than one chip will have it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Then let's do our free game check. Right now on the Epic Store, you can still get Superland for free until Thursday morning. It's an adventure puzzler that looks pretty fun. They say it's a mix of Portal, Zelda, and Metroid, but let's be honest, it looks closer to Crab Game to me. Anyways, if you have a Prime membership though, you've got a huge amount of free games available. You'll see 30 of them. Seriously, 30 games for free. Now, keep in mind, a lot of them are just shovelware, but some are straight up classics. You got Metal Slug 2, Hue, Fatal Fury, um, Across the Groves, Far Cry 4 is still there, and more. Now, keep in mind, some of these expire in nine days and others in 22 days from this video's release, so hurry up and go check it out. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch-up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it. Don't forget to check out our sponsors down in the description down below. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. As for my voice, yes, I am sick. Just, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll try and stay hot instead of staying frosty. Take care.